Well, that's a wrap for today's episode and I hope you got some value from it. If anything triggered your mental health today, please reach out to your support networks. Also, if you love what you heard, be sure to subscribe to the show and share it with your mates. For more from Mindful Men, you can check us out on Instagram and YouTube and I'll throw the links to these pages in the show notes below. But until next time, stay mindful. G'day guys and welcome to another episode of the Mindful Men podcast. My name is Simon Rinney and I'm the man behind Mindful Men. In today's episode, I've got a super, super, super special guest with me, my son Gus. I wanted to bring Gus on the show, one, because he wanted to come on the show, but two, to talk about things that matter to a five-year-old. It's really to share that moment between father and son and start to look at the world in their eyes. What prompted me to do this episode was the chat that I had with Anthony Simons a few weeks ago, where we talked a bit about walking at the pace of our children and looking at the world through their eyes. So I hope you enjoy this episode with me and Gus. Hello. How are you today, Gus? Good. That's good. So today I'm going to ask you a few questions about what it's like to be Gus. Okay. Does that sound good? Yeah. Yeah. Now, have you ever been on a podcast before? No. Do you know what a podcast is? Yes. What's a podcast? It's someone that goes on a video. Someone that goes on a video. What do they talk about? Um, uh, I talk about some words. Some words. Okay, well, we, we'll say a lot of words today and you get to tell us some of your favourite things. Yeah. Yeah. And then maybe you could tell the kids at school that you are on a podcast. Okay. Okay. Now, the reason I wanted you on the podcast was because sometimes daddies, they see the world in their daddy eyes. But when we talk to our boys and our girls, that we can understand the world in a different way. Does that sound good? Yeah. All right. So let's explore Gus today. Yep. All right. How old are you? Five. Five. What's it like being a five-year-old? Good. Good. How is it good? Mm, I don't really know what that was. You don't really know? Yeah. Well, what's some of the things that you like to do as a five-year-old? Go to a zoo. You like to go to the zoo. And what kind of things do you like to see at the zoo? Mm, turtles. Turtles. What else? Penguins. Yeah. Elephants. Yeah. And sea lions. Sea lions. Where have you seen a sea lion before? Antarctica. Antarctica? Yeah. When have you been to Antarctica? When I was a, ba- when I was a baby. <laughs> when you were a baby. How did you get there? My mum brought me. Oh, and how did she take you to Antarctica? We went on a plane. <gasps> wow. Have you been to Australia Zoo? Yes. What on the bus. On the bus. And what did you see there? So we saw, I can't really remember. You can't remember. What about crocodiles? Did you see, did they chomp any food? Yeah. And do you like crocodiles? What do you like about crocodiles? Because they chomp meat. Yeah. What else? You saw sea lions. At Australia Zoo, did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. And kangaroos? Yeah. Yeah. And giraffes? Yeah. You love animals, don't you? Yeah. Do you want to be an animal person when you grow up? Yeah. Yeah, like David Attenborough. Why do you like to be an animal person? Because they like, they look after animals. Animal people do? Yeah, and why do we need to look after animals? So they can survive. Yeah, and what else? Anything else? No. No, just that? Yeah. Okay. So tell me, what's your favourite colour? Blue. Blue. Why do you like blue? 
because it's light and it's not light. Oh, okay. Are you wearing a blue top today? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, a blue hoodie. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and what's your favourite thing to eat? Um, calamari. Calamari. Oh, and why do you like calamari? Because it's a ring. It's a ring. Oh, yummy. Yummy for your tummy? Yummy yummy for my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> And do you like watching TV? Yeah. Tell us what your favourite TV show is. Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin. Yeah. And what else do you like to watch on TV? Um, Ninja Kids. Ninja Kids. What do you like about the Ninja Kids? Because they fight. They fight? Like ninjas? Yeah. Oh, do you want to be a ninja? (laughs) <laughs> Does that sound like fun? Now, we talked about what you want to be when you're older. You want to be an animal person. Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to be when you grow up? Mm, a zoo. You want to be a zoo? A zoo person. A zoo person. Oh, so that's with animals as, as well, isn't it? You love zoos and animals. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm going to ask you some hard questions. What do you think about that? Yeah, you're going to give it a go? Yeah. All right. What does it mean to be happy? Um, Have a smile on your face. Yeah. What else? That's all. That's all. Just having a smile on your face. Like right now, you have a big smile on your face. <laughs> does being happy make you feel good? Yeah. And what's some of the things that make you feel happy? Buy toys. Buying toys. Yeah, mm-hmm. what else? Mm, that's all. That's all? Just buying toys makes you happy. What about spending time with mum and dad? Yeah? Uh, playing at the playground? Where else do we like to go? To Antarctica. To Antarctica? <laughs> what about the beach? Do you like going to the beach? No. Yes, you do. You no, love I the beach. What about ice cream? Does that make you happy? (laughs) What about, what does it mean when you're sad? Mm, Having a sad face. A sad face. And how does it make you feel inside? Good. Good to feel sad? (laughs) No. Does it make you feel upset? If you're sad, you might cry. Yeah, and feel feel a bit. <laughs> yeah, you could cry like that. Yeah. Now, if you're sad, what makes you feel happy again? What makes you feel better? Mm, buying a toy. <laughs> buying a toy. What about a cuddle? If Dad gave you a kiss and a cuddle, that'll make you feel better. Yes. What about Mum? Yes. Yeah. What about if Nan and Papa here, or Grandma and Grandpa? Yeah. Yes. All right. What is love? What do you think love is? By giving someone a kiss and a cuddle. Yeah. And is it a good feeling or a bad feeling? Good feeling. A good feeling. What's some things that you love? Mm, Animals. You love animals? They make you feel good? Mm, And they're lovely to eat. (laughs) Lovely to eat? (laughs) Yeah. So you like to eat? Eat meat, yeah. yeah. What about for your family? Do you love your family? What do you love about your family? <laughs> they they take care of us. Yeah, family takes care of each other. How do they take care of each other? By looking after each other. Yeah. Maybe giving each other cuddles and kisses when we're sad. Yeah. And presents on our birthday. Yeah. What about Christmas? What happens at Christmas? You get eat any of the toys and lollies. Now, what about what does it mean to be kind? Um, being kind to somebody. What if someone fell over? Would you help them stand up? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and, and maybe saying things like thank you and please. Yeah. Uh, what else does it mean to be kind? Like... 
Sharing. Sharing. What could you share with somebody else? The a podcast. Yeah, like you coming on my podcast. That's sharing, isn't it? And it's a good feeling, isn't it? What about sharing your toys? Good. With your sister. Is that kind? Yeah. What about sharing some birthday cake if it's your birthday? Yeah. That's nice, isn't it? Now, thinking about being kind, what's something that you could do today that is kind to somebody else? Um, sharing. Sharing. Now, two more questions, okay? Okay. What does it mean to be healthy? By brushing your teeth and eating healthy vegetables. Yeah, what's some vegetables that you know? Um, and capsicum, cucumber. Yeah. And the corn and peas and meat and salad, water. Water, lots of water. What about exercise? Is exercise being healthy? What's some things that you do as a five-year-old for exercise? Work out. You work out. How do you work out? Um, doing this. Yeah, some stretches. Do you go on your scooter? Is yeah. that exercise? Yeah. Or your bike? Yeah. What about at school? What's some of the things that you do for exercise at school? Um, running around, learning. You learn about exercise. Yeah. And is it fun to exercise? Yeah. Yeah. And that keeps you healthy by eating healthy and exercising. What about if you're with healthy with your feelings? If you were feeling sad or angry, how do you deal with that? What do you do? Ask your mum and dad. You go and talk to mum and dad about it, don't you? Yeah. And you say, I'm not feeling very good. Yeah. Yeah. And what does mum and dad say? Okay. And do we try and talk you through it? Yeah. Yeah. And why is that important? Because it's being special. It's being special because you're a special little boy. Yeah. So that's healthy. So eating right and exercising yeah. and talking about our feelings. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Last question. Okay. What makes a good dad? What's some of the things that I need to do to By be a good dad? By helping me? By helping you. What do I help you with? Um, building. What are we building? What do we build? Um, houses. Yeah, we build houses out of? Cardboard. Cardboard. Cool. And we making one right now? Yeah. Yeah. What else do we do? Podcasts. Podcasts. Do we ever go fishing? Yeah. What do you like about fishing? Just one more question. Just... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you like about fishing? Catching fish. Yeah. Spending time with dad. Yeah. Yeah. No more. You finished, are you? Well, that's the end of this video. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode with Gus and myself. It's great to be able to do things as father and son, whether it's podcasts or building houses out of cardboard or going fishing like we do. It's just great to connect and share these types of moments with our kids. Well, that's it for today. Until next time, stay mindful. Hello and welcome to the Mindful Men podcast show helping men to open up about manhood. My name is Simon Rinney and my aim is to get men talking. From mental health to fatherhood and everything in between, Mindful Men creates a safe space for conversation. Now, before we get into this episode, I want to say a huge thank you for joining me. It means a world for you to join me and talk about men's issues. And if you love what you hear, please subscribe and share the episode with your mates. You can also join the conversation on Instagram and YouTube, and I'd love to connect with you there. But for now, sit back, relax, and let's get mindful.